two things I felt affected the game and people may say what does she know she's only watching it but one was that penalty obviously that came from a Tyrone mistake back in the defence and mm-hmm. came all the way down mm-hmm. and Iver though the other thing as well was the amount of wides the decision making I mean the, a lot of the times you get the ball down to where you could to score and then it went yeah, awry yeah. Well, decision making is always critical at this level and you know we've been talking about that all year we'd like to get the best player in the best position to have a shot uh, taking shots from acute angles or under pressure is not something we recommend but in the heat of this battle we can't expect a lot of the players to do everything all of the time the way you'd like them to they're young players they have to learn I think they hope they'll learn a lot from today you got to the top of the mountain this year when lots of people didn't expect you to and it's been a really hard few years for you on a day like today, I can only imagine that it just it must take an emotional toll as well. Well, it does. I mean, if you're if you're involved in this game, it is your life, and uh, you know. But of course, as we know, it's your life to a certain extent. There's more important things in life, and, and that's not to, to diminish how much this means to the people of Tyrone or people who follow Gaelic games. And we were doing our level best to make this a great day for them. But when all's said and done, you have to realise that. You know, we don't write the script, we just try our best to play it and we'll leave that in God's hands how it's going to go. What did you say to your players at the final whistle when you were talking to them? I just said you, you sort of, there's the old saying goes, you died in your boots, you know, they didn't give up, they gave it everything. There was some wonderful turnovers, some work rate when people were obviously very tired and they give it their all and I said that I'm so proud of people that can do that. Yeah, they did get very tired when you were watching it, you could see, but they, like you said, they did play with their boots on. They kept going to the point where Tyrone fans around the 17th minute had hope again. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the game came to a new life that seemed to be dripping away from the game. And when the 70 minutes uh, come up and there was seven extra, then people believed that anything was possible, and so it was. And finally, before I let you go, even though you've lost, you still look really positive as an individual. Well, that's it, I suppose. That's what life's like now. When you get to my age and have experienced all the things I've done, um, you put everything in context. And and in the context of the greater things of life, it's disappointing, it's a sad day for football fans, but life goes on.